All right, welcome to the video, guys. We're going to be doing a session in the G Sword 1010. I've played a few warm up games. They were not great by any means. I actually died very early on Malanovka with like one shot of damage. I was averaging over 2,000 damage in this vehicle. Now we're at a little under 2,000. Um, but we're going to try and make the thing work. I'm running it with vents, the improved aiming, and rammer. And the stats are looking pretty pretty good on this thing like overall i think the tank is good i don't think it's op i think some people were thinking that this thing was kind of op but i don't see that I, the mobility is good but like you really can't play this thing like a brawler you know it, it's it's just way too fragile and um, what you'll find is you'll get yourself into trouble if you're trying to you know help other teammates around corners and play like a brawling tank it really you need to stay back with this thing and then towards the end of the game use its mobility right um the traverse is really bad too so you really just need to use like straight line mobility when it's necessary and only when it's necessary otherwise you're going to get yourself into a lot of trouble with this vehicle and that's what i find i think i've just been too aggressive with it um so i've been trying to kind of back off just play a support role even if i'm poking around a corner i will let other people take the damage and stuff because this thing just is not made to take damage it's so slow in traverse and like it's just a really awkward tank when you try and push into people so i highly recommend that you guys do not do that with it just snipe with it um i don't like sitting in the back of the map but that's where i've had my best games with this vehicle so we'll see how it goes uh, a game on cliff this the, the, actually the first warm-up game i played i played three warm-up games the first game was on cliff and this guy got really really mad at me man <laughs> This guy got really mad because I didn't help him. Um, so there was like a Borisk and a Progetto poking on us around the corner. And then on the corner of Cliff, you know how there's like kind of like one side that's lower and higher. So he was mad that he was in a Progetto and he's mad that I didn't help him. And I'm like, dude, I don't know what you want me to do in that situation. Like I could come back and go all the way around, but the, there was a mod one pushing into him. And I guess he was on reload. I hit the mod one twice, but there was an E4 behind me and really i'm waiting for the e4 to go help him because i'm trying to keep the boar and the progetto honest on that corner and uh, he got really mad at me man said he watched my content so if he sees this like i don't know i'm sorry man i i don't know what you what you want me to tell you like i don't play this thing aggressively and i just stated that um boar's not there if you came down low yeah like the thing is man like i made the play i made i didn't want to run down there because the boar and the progetto were there and like i said with this vehicle the traverse is so slow that i would have had to come back and go all the way around to help him and by then i don't even think i would have made it there in time um so like it is what it is man this was the situation we got into he's like i'm not gonna watch your content anymore i'm like dude if me like not helping you as much as i could have helped you it really makes you makes you that mad that you don't want to watch my content anymore then don't watch my content man you know i'm not perfect with mediums but i i hit this guy twice i tried to help him out and um it is what it is that was the situation i'm just not gonna re respond anymore it's like i i just feel like he's getting way too um angry at you know, one game like it's just a game my man you know you can't get all worked up about this stuff but anyway um we're going to give this tank a go, man, and um, yeah, I mean, other than that situation on Cliff, the first three games were not, they, they weren't fantastic, but we did well enough um, for me to warm up enough to bring you guys this session. So aiming time is good on this, dispersion is good, the damage per shot is really good, the DPM is not insane, but you really just need to play this thing as a sniper, and again, I've talked about how fragile it is, that's why this guy I think is so mad at me, like, you can literally be sitting in the back of a map um, and I don't think people would complain. I was trying to be aggressive here. Um, I was poking around the corner and I just stayed on the corner. And I think he's just really mad that I didn't, um, you know, push in to help him. It wasn't like the game was close, you know, at all. Um, I mean, we, we ended up annihilating the team, so we won it anyway. And um, the E4 was there and the E4 was a really bad player. But it's like, dude, I... Like, I don't know what you want me to tell you, man. Like, I just, I'm not sorry, man. Like, I don't, I don't YOLO into people with this vehicle, you know? And like the way the Traverse is, I'm telling you, like this tank is just really, really awkward. And every time I try and be aggressive in it, I end up like throwing away all of my HP and it's just bad, man. It's just bad. So that's why I don't play it that way. That's why I play it as a sniper. Um, and I find that in the 20 battles I've played, it's been... You know, I've been much better playing it in that way. So that's the way I'm going to play it. And if people are going to get mad that I'm not like supporting them directly, like I don't know what they want me to tell them, man. Because that's the way I'm going to play it. So 
like you you can you can help people out man it's just like this thing is it's not really made for for brawling like a t26 e4 is right like you can get mad at me man but the e4 is the one that should be helping you out in a situation like that i mean goodness gracious man i've played hundreds of battles in the e4 i know how powerful it is shot to this guy this guy's giving me some easy shots right here chances I can hit this guy's cap from here, I'd say slim to none. Yeah, just sniping with this thing, guys. I think that's the way it really needs to be played, so that's what we're doing. Okay. Scorpion's coming around the corner. We're losing a lot over here, so I'm going to start repositioning myself. I think I can get a shot at this scorpion safely. Let's try. Okay. Yeah, now we have to run away from here. We're going to lose this entire side of the map, so I'm going to come all the way back to where the Kari is. 703 is up here. Where are these guys? 703 is fighting the AMBT and these two. I need to run away from here and then stay right here, actually, for now. So these guys are going to be up on the hill waiting for shots. Okay, there's STRB. This is what we want to see. Give me gun depression. Or elevation. Give me it. Where am I? I think that probably went in. Wow, I would have expected that one to actually go through, but it didn't. side of him. This is all with standard rounds, guys. We're not even loading any APCRs, so. E4 is on the hill here. I know my next poke, I'm probably going to get whacked by the scorpion, so I'm trying to be really cautious about this. Yeah, he's over there. I just snapped it definitely missed. He's sitting. The scorpion's going to be still sitting there. I know. There's no way this guy would advance. He's way too soft of a tank, so I'm thinking we can actually poke this direction. Get a shot before. Okay. Eliminate the E4. And yeah, this is why this tank is just better at sniping, guys. Again, like... People are going to get mad that I'm not directly supporting them. It is what it is. I'm not a I'm not a master at reading situations in a medium tank, but okay, another bounce on the tortoise. <laughs> Wild, dude. These things are ridiculously OP. But yeah, I just find that this thing is it, it's it's just a sniper, man. Like if you guys play this thing, you'll know you'll understand what I mean. Like it's just it looks fast, but it's really slow and a really vulnerable tank. And um, I just don't think it's made for any kind of aggressive place at all at all. Only when it's absolutely necessary, you know. 
Like if it's gonna if it's gonna matter in in terms of getting a win, right? So. The tortoise. And then the scorpion is going to still be sitting there. I, I just know he's going to be sitting there still. I'm thinking about going to help Art VK. Okay. This guy should be like right here. hitting the rock. Maybe he did move. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm really bad at taking blind shots. <laughs> I'm just gonna not take any more of them. Alright, where do I need to be right now? Shars here. I'm just not, I don't, like, I want to go after this Char man, but again, I just don't trust myself to make any of these aggressive plays with this vehicle. I've done it before, guys, and every time I've made these aggressive plays, I just, I end up getting wrecked, even when I'm full HP. Like, I just find that this thing is not made for that kind of stuff at all, so... guy says we need eyes like i'm not i'm i'm not i'm not eyes man i'm a tank destroyer <laughs> it's just what this thing is good at you see what i mean like even trying to take a slight shot on the move we miss the char now we hit him here when we're still like i just can't you can't do anything but snipe with this thing, I feel like. I just really feel like that's the case. I'm gonna load APCRs here. Stay alive, Kyrie. Stay alive, my man. Kind of hoping for a high roll. Yeah, I can't. I can't help this guy, man. I could just be. I could very well just be bad at playing this vehicle. I mean, you know what I mean. Like, I'm not a medium player, so. I think this guy should be coming this way. I don't think he would come through there. Let's see. I think Shiryatir would come down one line, maybe. I need to get distance on these guys. Okay. I don't even know what the HP of the Shar is either, so... right here. Yeah, this isn't winnable, man. No way. Whatever. 
37-24, three kills. I think we played that one okay, man. It's just like... Maybe I'm playing this thing wrong, but people are like, we need eyes. Like, I don't think you can play the vehicle like that. I really don't, man. Every good game I've had, guys, was when I sat in the back of the map like a tank destroyer. You know? And don't play aggressively at all. Like, every time I try and play aggressive with this thing, it's a bad game. So... Again, like not to insult this guy, maybe he's right. But it's just like for me, the tank doesn't work like that. I just did 4K by camping. So I don't know. It's just the way it works for me, man. You know, it's just the way the vehicle is working for me. I find that I cannot play it aggressively at all unless the situation absolutely calls for it. And it's 100% necessary. So 4K damage there. I think we did fine. Um, kind of hard to carry that one at the end again like i'm not a perfect player with these types of tanks man so i mean call me what you want and call me selfish or whatever but i i don't know how to play it aggressively i really don't i just snipe with it so i'm trying to have a good time <laughs> in my session and not piss anybody off but apparently I, this guy is no longer going to watch my content so you know it is what it is man <laughs> i'm not i don't know what else to say guys i just I mean, maybe, maybe, perhaps I am selfish, playing it, playing the G Sword 1010. You know, I would think that me playing light tanks and also putting up a video every single day about how to play light tanks would be a more selfless act. But perhaps it's not <laughs> in today's world. You know, but you guys can decide for yourselves, man. It's very likely perhaps I'm just a selfish person. <laughs> Who knows? Alright. M41 was just kind of running out in the open, wasn't he? Interesting. Does he know he's lit? I guess he does. You guys remember the good old days where people didn't even have six cents? I kind of like that they changed that. I think that's that should be the way it should be, you know? I wasn't even spotted from that. Was my sixth sense broken? Weird. That was a really weird one for sure. I'd be doing the same thing on this map with a light, to be honest, so. <laughs> I don't think we're misplaying this at all. I get right on the edge here. It's the quickest poke that Yudez is making. Like, he's just going like like that. Like, he's freaking terrified. I don't blame him, because even 90's out spotting him. But it's pretty funny, dude. I would like to think that one went in, but we'll have to see. Like, all three of us took a shot at that guy, so. Ooh, man, I'm tired. I'm tired, man. I'm going to camp here for a second. I need to go get my monster out of the freezer.
Good, I didn't miss anything. T-34 is over here. Nice, we get spawning from that. Beautiful. Okay. My roommate's watching some soccer, man. I don't want to disturb him, man. Alright. I'm going to load APCRs at this point, come back and try and help the uh, car up. How does this thing move so slowly in reverse? Like, this is supposed to be... You guys see what I mean with this vehicle, man? Like, it just doesn't play like a wheelie, right? It just really doesn't, man. You, you have to just snipe with this thing. I'm telling you guys, like... Just snipe with it, man. <laughs> I don't care what anybody else says, man. Like, you have to snipe. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work like you'd think it would work. Control a shot, IMO. Currently out spotting the sky, so not anymore. I need to poke like where I can actually get a shot through a bush. I think here would be better. Here's where I can use the mobility to go after this T25. Especially now that Artie has hit him. him. Hopefully not get whacked by this RHM. You see how there's like a, there's a time when you use the mobility in a close game and where you don't use the mobility. And this is where it needs to be used right now. Because we have no other choice, right? Focus my shots. Okay, RHM. I'm going to load HEs, go after the RHM. I figured this guy would have actually came around from here if he did push. I'm sorry, Artie. I should have... See, and this is where I could say I should have been back here waiting for the RHM. Perhaps. I don't know. I should have turned around too, man. Like, this thing is so slow in reverse. coming man i'm coming like all these games i have to be like super supporting my team now man and we're gonna fail every time now now is where the hp has to be used And the mobility you see you see what i mean guys there's like a time to do it and a time not to do it 
And now we can go after the GW Panther. I appreciate it. You're welcome. So I made I made someone happy today, at least in this session. I'm gonna make friends and enemies. Apparently, playing this vehicle. I got this guy, man. Dang, I wanted the eighth. I wanted the eighth kill, but that's all right. We'll give it to the T twenty eight. He played well, man. He was aggressive when he had to be, and I was aggressive when I had to be, guys. And again, like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about the way I'm playing this vehicle. I feel like I'm going to piss a lot of people off, and and also make others happy. Apparently, the way I'm playing this vehicle, like, I just find that I I can only be aggressive when the game absolutely calls for it. So, and I think, like, you're seeing, I think I'm playing it perfectly, actually. Like, you're seeing where this thing is working and where it's not working, guys. Like, these two battles in this session, like, my warm-up games were garbage because I was too aggressive. Now I'm playing it as a tank destroyer, and I've been playing it very safely. And 6400 WTR, 3548 damage, like, I don't know. Like, I, <laughs> I don't know what else to say, guys. I really don't, you know. This guy played well. Good game. Well played. I am recording a session right now for YouTube. If you want to check it out. www.youtube.com slash at uh, whirls. Is it whirls? Or whirlybird? Goodness me. Hold on. What is my actual handle? <laughs> You guys are going to be seeing my revenue and stuff like that at Watt Worlds. At Watt Worlds. Cheers. Good. We lose a viewer, we gain a viewer. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh man, I'm being so toxic, I guess, in this uh, in this video. But I don't know, man. I just like I don't know what else to say, guys. I really don't. Like, I think I'm just feeling really bad for not helping this guy. And he was really, really, he's really, really mad at me, man. And I'm like trying to make up for it in this video, but. Goodness me, man. All right, enough of that. Let's play one more game, guys, and get back to the serious video type. All right, we got three light tanks. So I'm gonna take a nice position. I'm gonna park right here. Let's see if any of the other TDs do the same. I think this thing will slide a little bit, right? Does it slide? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all, man. Okay, let's see what the EBR spots. I'm ready. I'm gonna pre-aim like right here-ish. I think is where that hill is. Something like that. Links. TD, guys. It's a TD. I'm telling you. It's a tank destroyer. Play it like a tank destroyer. I might have actually shot some of these guys. Perhaps there's a gap. Okay, 421 to the Basante. It's a TD, guys. <laughs> no, it's a tank destroyer. Kari's here.
We didn't send anyone into the city. This should be interesting. See, this is the gap I'm talking about underneath the bridge. Hawk 30 is kind of close to it, but not quite. It's a TD, guys. You know? Anyway, we're going to come back now. I need to be where this other G-Sor is. Really need intuition. This guy, this G-Sor is a good player. He understands push mechanics and all that. We're going to help him out. I'm going to do some push mechanics of my own. Let's knock this tree over here. Okay, we don't really have good shots. We just need to defend the base. We don't want to look at this as anything other than defending the base, man. So let's just defend the base. Good. Oh shit, I did get spotted. Okay. I think we'll be okay here though, I think. Okay, we'll snap the even. I can't get the right angle on this guy through the bush. Sort must be on reload. I'm gonna be in trouble here now. Okay, K2 wants to focus me. That's fine. I think we should win this game. Um, 27 23 damage, 308 assist. It's a tank destroyer, guys. That's it. That's it for this one, man. I don't want to. I feel like with this session, man, like, in a way, I'm, I'm feeling a bit toxic. Um, like, the way I've been presenting this tank, man, and, uh, you know, maybe we're being a bit greedy. Maybe I am playing a greedy, but that's the way I feel like this tank needs to be played. You need to just snipe with this thing. If people are calling for help, unless it's, unless it's going to throw the game if you don't help them, you have to just play the tank to what it's, you know, to what it's designed to do, man, and... Um, you know, uh, there's certainly misplays I I made. Like, perhaps we could have played it differently to help people better. But this is how I play the tank. And I'm not an expert. I'm, you know, I'm not a medium player, you know. And um, when I camp with this vehicle and when I'm super safe with it and, and perhaps greedy, that's when I have the best games with it. By far, hands down. Um, it's It's a tank destroyer, guys. It's really a tank destroyer. Use the mobility when you need to use it on maps such as Paris, and um, that's the way to play it. So, we will... Let's wait for this game to finish. We'll wait for this game to finish, and uh, then we'll look at the end score over those three battles. And I played these three battles way, way, way better than I played the first three battles. Um, and the first three battles, is, that's what I was trying to do. I was being too aggressive, trying to get myself into a position to help people. And I just lost HP and that was it, man. Like, I just didn't have, I didn't have good games. In the in the game following that game on Cliff, where that guy got really mad, that was the game I had on Malinovka, where I tried to get aggressive and um, go up towards the hill and try and get initial shots and stuff and sort of spot, and we got absolutely annihilated. So you need to just sit in the back of the map um, until the game calls for mobility, guys. You know, be a smart player and play the tank extremely, like, ultra safe until you need to use the mobility like we did on Paris. That's really it, man. Like, uh... 
I, I don't... <laughs> I don't know how else to phrase, you know, that I'm not a phenomenal player with these vehicles, and if that like loses me viewers, like, <laughs> like it is what it is, man. I don't, I don't, like I'm just playing the tank to try and enjoy myself, man. You know, like I got it from the loot boxes, so I told you guys I would do a session, but just feel like I'm being greedy with the tank or something, you know, based on other people's observations. And, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll just be done with this thing after this session. And I just won't play it anymore if that's the case, because I don't want to be looked at as someone who's greedy, but it's just, that's just the way I'm playing this vehicle. And that's, I've played it really well by doing that, by being greedy and just sniping, man. 27, 23 damage, 308 assist. Um, Maybe we'll get Dizzy Doctor as, <laughs> as a, uh, I'll give you a sub, as a uh, as a viewer, right? Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. Like, I, I just, I don't know, man. I'm feeling like kind of down now <laughs> in this video. But three battles, I think we played it really, really well. WTR of 11,697 in these three battles. We played it kind of greedy, I guess. 32, 73 damage, 62, 89 is the WTR here, but you know how this is a little bit different. And what was this combined? We did almost 400 assists, 3,600 combined or something like that, um, and some change. So that's the G-Sword 1010, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I will catch you for the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.